Hello everyone and welcome to our incredible Swiss adventure. We recently spent four amazing days exploring the stunning landscapes and vibrant cities of Switzerland. So get ready to join us on this journey as we take you through the charming streets of Geneva, the picturesque towns of Montreux and Interlaken, the breathtaking beauty of Lot Vernon and Grindelwald, the enchanting city of Lucerne, and the cultural hub of Basel. We started off with Geneva and we were immediately captivated by its charm. Our first stop was the iconic Jet d'eau, where we marveled at the magnificent water fountain shooting up into the sky. Geneva is not just a city of natural beauty, it's also home to the United Nations office, a symbol of global diplomacy and cooperation. We saw the offices and the flags from far. Another highlight of Geneva is the famous broken chair sculpture, a powerful symbol of disarmament and human rights. After exploring Geneva, we decided to treat ourselves to a delightful brunch before continuing to our Swiss adventure. On our way to Montreux, we were treated to breathtaking views of the Swiss countryside. Our first stop in Montreux was the world-famous Chilean castle, a medieval fortress nestled right on the shores of Lake Geneva. The entry fee to the castle was about £11. The castle is very well maintained. Each room is designed in a way that it tells its own story. The panoramic views from the castle's towers were absolutely amazing, providing a stunning backdrop of the lake and the Swiss Alps. After our visit to the castle, we could not resist the temptation to find a peaceful spot near the lake shore to soak in all the beauty of the Swiss Alps. Finally, we found a cozy spot where we could sit back, relax and truly appreciate the breathtaking scenery around us. Leaving behind the beauty of Lake Geneva, we embarked on the next leg of our Swiss adventure, making our way towards the enchanting village of Lauterbrunnen. The crazy turns in the road not only tested our driving skills, but also served as a reminder of the incredible landscapes that Switzerland has to offer. As the day drew to a close, we made our way to the Airbnb in Brock, a nearby village. Little did we know that our accommodation would offer us an amazing view that would take our breath away. Have a look at this. After taking a moment to soak in the view, we had our dinner and called it a day. On the second day of our Swiss adventure, we woke up with renewed enthusiasm. As we set out to a planned itinerary, we encountered a setback. We couldn't find the right way to the place we wanted to go. To our surprise, our D2 led us to an area where patches of snow still remained and we found ourselves engaged in impromptu snowball fight. This D2, which was slightly demotivating at first, turned out to be a delightful surprise that added an extra layer of excitement and playfulness to our trip. Our next stop was Murin, which is a mountain village. To reach Murin, we hopped on a gondola ride first. Upon reaching the intermediate station, we hopped on a cogwheel train that took us to a picturesque journey up the mountainside to the village of Murin. Arriving in Murin, we were greeted by the serene beauty of this car-free alpine village. In addition to its stunning natural surroundings, Murin offers a range of activities and sports opportunities for visitors to enjoy. During the winter months, Murin transforms into a winter wonderland, offering excellent skiing and snowboarding opportunities. The village is part of the Jungfrau ski region, which boasts a vast network of slopes suitable for all levels from beginners to advanced skiers and snowboarders. We wasted no time in exploring the village, wandering through its narrow streets and soaking up the authentic alpine atmosphere. We took our time to savour the moment and clicked a lot of photographs here. From Murin, we boarded the cogwheel train again and then the gondola ride to descend down the mountainside. Walking through the roads of Lauterbrunnen was a delightful experience. The charming wooden bridges spanning the river, the quaint village square with its fountain and the colourful gardens all contributed to the fairy tale like atmosphere of Lauterbrunnen. As we continued our leisurely walk, we couldn't help but be drawn to the mesmerizing Staubach Falls. 
The closer we got to the waterfall, the more impressive its scale and power became. After that, we made our way to the hotel. Once we settled in, we couldn't resist exploring the charming streets of Interlaken. The next day, after a quick and delicious breakfast in Interlaken, we set off towards the enchanting village of Grindelwald. The scenic journey to Grindelwald was a treat in itself, as we were greeted with breathtaking views of the Swiss Alps at every turn. Grindelwald's traditional wooden chalets and flower-filled balconies added to its idyllic charm, making it a picture-perfect destination for any traveller. Well, we experienced a tough time finding a parking spot in Grindelwald. Upon arriving in the village, we quickly realised that the parking spaces were scarce, especially during the peak tourist season, when the place attracts visitors from around the globe. However, we remained patient and determined, and after a bit of searching, luck finally smiled upon us, and we managed to secure a parking spot. Now, we took a cable car ride up the Swiss Alps. It was exciting and quite convenient. As we went up, the scenery changed from green meadows to tall mountains. At the top, we saw the Swiss Alps spreading out in front of us in all directions, revealing their vastness and beauty. Being at such a height allowed us to appreciate the scale and majesty of the mountain in a way that is hard to describe now. The entire landscape was covered in soft, fluffy blanket of snow. The snow-capped mountains sparkled in the sunlight and the air was crisp and refreshing. The scenery was so serene and peaceful, it felt like we had entered a different world. Next, we went on to do the first cliff walk in Grindelwald, which was a thrilling and unforgettable experience. It was a suspended walkway built right on the edge of the mountain, offering breathtaking views of the surrounding Swiss Alps. As we stepped onto the walkway, we could feel our hearts racing with excitement. The walkway was made of sturdy metal grating, and as we looked down, we could see the sheer drop below us. <laughs> I won't lie, it was both exhilarating and slightly nerve-wracking to be walking so close to the edge of the cliff. At the end of the first cliff walk, we encountered a queue of fellow visitors eagerly waiting to capture the stunning views in the photograph. Despite the initial apprehension, the experience was surprisingly safe and secure. The walkway was well maintained and there were railings and safety measures in place to ensure everybody's well-being. After completing the first cliff walk, we headed to the restaurant nearby to refuel and relax. The restaurant was impressively large, offering both indoor and outdoor seating options. The ambience was delightful and we chose to sit outdoors to savour the fresh mountain air and soak the stunning views. The restaurant's location at such a height made the dining experience truly unique. The excitement continued as we watched daring adventurers engaging in thrilling rides and activities here. We soaked in the serene beauty of the surroundings, gazing at the magnificent Swiss Alps. The camera could not stop clicking, capturing these cherished memories that would stay with us forever. Each photo held a special place in our hearts, a treasury of moments to be cherished for a lifetime. As we approached the gondola or the cable car station to descend, we noticed there was a queue of eager visitors waiting to go down as well. Although the queue to descend took some time, the amazing experiences we had throughout the day made it worth every moment. After our cable car descent, we headed to Huamate Park, 
and into Lakhan for some relaxation and more sights. The park was perfect spot to unwind with its sprawling green lawns and stunning mountain views. It was really thrilling to see the paragliders floating in the sky and touch down in front of us. The rest of the evening also offered a great opportunity for some leisurely shopping. We explored the charming city, streets, browsing through the local boutiques and stores. From Swiss souvenirs to alpine crafts, there were plenty of unique treasures to discover. After our enjoyable time at Grindelwald and Interlaken, we bid farewell and made our way to Lucerne. The drive was scenic and beautiful, but since it was dark outside, we couldn't fully admire the views along the way. As we arrived in Lucerne, we settled into our accommodations and eagerly anticipated exploring the city the next day. Our first stop was the iconic Chapel Bridge. The history of the Chapel Bridge in Lucerne is rich and fascinating. Dating back to the 14th century, it's one of the oldest wooden covered bridges in Europe, an iconic landmark of the city. Despite facing fires and disasters, the bridge has retained its medieval charm and stands as a beloved symbol of Lucerne's history and architectural beauty. Originally built as the part of city's defences, it served as a covered walkway and a crucial connection between the old town and the right bank of the Ruiz River. Over time, it underwent renovations and additions, including the famous triangular paintings on its roof, depicting scenes from Swiss history and religious motifs. The next spot was Musk walls and towers. These medieval fortifications are an essential part of Lucerne's historical heritage and offer a fascinating glimpse into the city's past. The music walls were built in the 14th century to protect the city from external threats. Today, they stand as an incredibly well-preserved example of medieval defence architecture. From the top of the towers, we were treated to sweeping panoramic views of the city. With a mix of excitement and nostalgia, we bid farewell to Lucerne and set off for our final destination, Basel, where we would catch our flights back home. In our last hours in Basel, we wanted to enjoy every moment, so we spent our time by the beautiful Rhine River. The river is like the heartbeat of the city and we loved relaxing by its calm waters. As we approach the conclusion of the video, we are saving the best part for the last, our epic snowball fight. It was a moment of pure joy and laughter, so sit back, relax and enjoy the fun as we relive this special moment together. Watching these videos bring back the magic of our Swiss journey and we hope it inspires you to plan your own trip to this enchanting city soon. Thanks for watching.